News Live 10 at 10 continues with No Wait Weather. All right, we're going to start you out with that uh, snowfall potential map to show you the very latest. First and foremost, as we go through the overnight hours, the snow will continue to press northward. We're going to see a couple of bands of heavier snow, but widespread two to six, as we've been thinking. And yes, some areas will get just a, a little bit of snow, two inches. But look, all day today we've had some freezing drizzle and roads already slippery. And overnight here or this evening, I should say, we've had crashes already. So. Give yourself extra time in the morning. Here's the latest. Now let's go for, uh, forward with that survival kit. Get those blankets in the car if you have to do any traveling. Again, water and food is important should you become stranded. Flashlight batteries and that good old-fashioned shovel will come in handy as well. And here is a look at the very latest with regards to the storm on the radar. Now we see the heavier bands of snow just crossing out of South Dakota, pushing into southeast North Dakota and the southern Red River Valley, while snow continues out in the Black Hills. Now, we see the darker blues here. That's the heavier bands, and we can imagine it moving north and northeastward in through the valley. So parts of the eastern third of North Dakota will be uh, inundated with hours of snowfall as we go through the evening hours. Other areas here, as we look in on the southern valley here, may see just a brief period of snow followed by a break as well. So right now, this area, Lamore County, Dickey County, all the way up through Barnes County and the Stutzman County area, if you've uh, checked out our Facebook page, this is where I'm thinking we're going to see one area of some heavy banding of snow as we go through the overnight hours, as now we see where the radar is setting up. But here's a dry slot that we talked about at that 6 o'clock hour starting to sneak up through the Southern Valley. Does this mean that Sisseton is done? By no means does it mean that we are done. Let me show you what I mean in a moment. Right now, teens up in the Devil's Lake Basin, 21 in Jamestown, still holding on to 30 degrees down in the Wapaton Breckenridge area with limited visibilities now, really dropping down to a mile or less in places where the snow is getting quite heavy. Oaks reporting one half of a mile of visibility in moderate snow, half a mile in Langdon, half a mile in Candu at this hour as well. Here's that hour by hour forecast. It lines up pretty nicely at this 10 o'clock hour at, along Interstate 94 for the main thrust of the snow push here. Now, as we watch this go to the north fairly quickly overnight, much of this pushes into northwest Minnesota, so that's the trajectory. We know it's heavy here, moves up into northwest Minnesota, but then we see this north-south oriented band of snow set up that will be prolonged throughout our Wednesday. Rise and shine across much of the Southern Valley. We may be in a break but look at this, down to the south, some very heavy snow taking shape with some freezing drizzle and rain out toward the Twin Cities. As we go through the morning hours, it does look like the north wind starts to take hold, but it won't be too strong yet. But we will have accumulations and very slippery roads. And as we go through the midday hours, the wind has a chance to pick up with those gusts approaching 30 miles per hour in the afternoon. Continued bands of snow, especially out to the west and north. So again, that heaviest snow potential will be setting up across the region, and it doesn't end even into the evening hours with snow, gusty winds to 40 miles per hour at times through the valley before this system really starts letting up late tomorrow. So most of the day, if you're finishing up your finals up at UND or NDSU and you want to head home, travel is going to be very tricky. I would advise taking a second thought on those travel plans. And again, we're going to see some areas with two inches of snow or less. This may not be the exact area, but I do think we're going to see a heavier band setting up off to the west of the Red River Valley and one just off to the east up into Polk County and also Monoman County and out towards Wandina, where we could see those elevated totals over six inches, maybe as many as nine in some spots with blowing and drifting throughout the better part of the day. Winter storm warning then for all of our viewing area. Here is a look at your planning forecast. 26 to start your day after a high of around 30 degrees midday. We're going downhill in the afternoon with blowing and drifting snow throughout the day. More wintry scenes across the region. This is a frosty farm. It's going to be a snowy farm in the Litchville area over the next 24 hours. 21 degrees though as we cool off and dry out a bit on Thursday. It will remain breezy. Then the cold takes hold with low temperatures well below zero Friday and Saturday morning. How about up to 10 below or down to 10 Ooh. below, I should say, as we head through the weekend, things warm up a little bit. It's a blast of winter. It is. All right. Thanks, Hutch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Still to come tonight, an exciting announcement about one of our staff members here at Valley News Live. But first, in tonight's restaurant report card, places with critical violations, how they're trying to keep clean for their customers.